All right, thank you, Ben. Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic, and there are small signs the curve may be starting to flatten. Right. The numbers, however, remain tragic. The state of Michigan reporting an additional 115 deaths today, putting the total number of lives lost at 1,602. There were 997 new cases, pushing that total above 25,000. Governor Whitmer and other state leaders are requesting a special 30-day enrollment period in the federal, uh, the federal health care exchange so more people can get insurance. Detroit's drive through testing program had to be shut down for the day due to wind, but the number of people tested there is expected to surpass 10,000 by tomorrow. And the first of the federal stimulus checks began arriving today in some people's bank accounts. Yeah, Governor Whitmer was asked today about what her benchmark will be for deciding it's time to reopen the economy. She said it's not a matter of reaching zero new deaths, but rather a variety of factors. We've got to see that cases are not climbing. We've got to know that we've got the resources in our hospitals to meet the needs that are there. Right now, we still have hospitals that are at or over capacity. We, you know, we've, we've got to be able to manage what we are confronting. We have to be able to detect it. So we've got to have the testing measures and the ability to trace. These are all critical components that everyone from Dr. Fauci to Governor DeWine and everyone in between has acknowledged these are, are fundamental to making sure that we are safe to start a phased in re-engagement of our economy. Well, at the city level, Mayor Duggan today applauded Detroiters for their social distancing efforts so far, but acknowledged that nursing homes really need help. And to that end, the city is planning to dramatically increase testing at nursing homes over the next 10 days. We're now going to be committing 240 tests a day for the next 10 days just to nursing home residents and staff. We're going to test 